What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Last Drafts Baseball video production. Today it is day five of our epic break. Epic Japanese baseball cards from the NPB. And so far, uh, if there's any late drama, today and tomorrow there might be an opportunity for some fire because right now we have not seen any fire. And for that matter, we haven't really seen any uh, short prints or uh, numbered cards or relics or anything like that to this point. So I guess that's the good news uh, because we've got two days left to hopefully pull something and we'll see what we can pull. So without further ado, we're going to get her going right now. Uh, we broke our streak yesterday of about uh, what seemed like three days in a row of Nippon Ham Fighters being the first card or the card at the top of the, the, the break. And we've noticed, if you haven't been watching each day, that you pretty much get one card from every team. 12 cards in a pack and there's 12 teams in the league and you pretty much get 12 cards, one from each team in a pack. So... Uh, we're going to find out how we're going to do today and uh, let's see what this uh, let's see what this brings for us. So it's going to lead off and we're back to the ham fighters at the top now. So the streak is uh, is a new streak and we have Kataro Kiyomiya, Kataro Kiyomiya leading it off for us. And our second card we have a racket and eagle and that follows suit. So that would be Kohei Morihara. And then the next one would be a, a Yamuri Giant followed by a Carp. And, of course, there's Seiji Kobayashi. And I, I think we saw him yesterday, Kobayashi. So we're starting to get some doubles a bit. And the next one's going to be a Carp. And there it is. And we got a rookie card of Shogo Tamamura. Shogo Tamamura. Uh, Jose Lopez for the Yokohama Danabe Stars. Longtime uh, veteran of the NPB. And yes, definitely for sure. But this one here is a little different. There's a rainbow foil Dice K Matsuzaka. So calling all Matsuzaku fans out there, if you're interested, uh, we got a rainbow foil Dice K that's going to be on the market. You can check it out on eBay here in the next few days. Hiroya Miyagi, pitcher for the Oryx Buffaloes, rookie card. And then we have a Junpei Takahashi, pitcher for the uh, Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks. Followed by Chibalote Marines, uh, Ikuhiro uh, Kiyota. And then we have uh, Kento Fujishima for the Chinichi Dragons. And Kento Fujita, catcher for the Hanshin Tigers. Kitaro Yamazaki, a outfielder for the Colt Spells. And we should be back to the top to our Nippon Ham Fighter, which is Kitaro Kiyomiya, back again so yes indeed we are back to the ham fighters on top after that rogue uh Cebu lion seemed to get in the way so now here comes pack number two of the day pack number two still no fire um i don't know if we're gonna see any fire at this rate it uh we don't need to keep the fire ex extinguisher handy uh it doesn't look like there's anything of excitement in the middle for those of you who want to cheat ahead here uh, but on the top, guess what? We have an upon ham fighter, and that's Daiki Mochizuki, a rookie card. And then we have a Chihao Sung, and he's not off to a good start. The ERA up around seven. Uh, now we have a giant, and so Shinosuke uh, Shigenobu, outfielder. Next one's a carp, and who do we have? What's the carp that we have? We have a Shota Nakazaki. Shota Nagazaki of the carp. Shota Imanaga for the uh, Bay Stars. Shota Imanaga for the Bay Stars. And now we have a silver foil. Kodai Umetsu from the Chinichi Dragons. And uh, what do we have for that? Anything on the back? No, nothing. Not a numbered card, unfortunately. Unless that's numbered, but I don't think it is. Uh, we have for the Oryx uh, Buffaloes, Kataro uh, Kiribayashi. Kataro Kiribayashi. Uh, Levon Monello, bullpen arm for the SoftBank Hawks. He's usually a 7th, 8th inning guy uh, and has had uh, quite a few uh, good years, including when they were in the, uh, won the uh, Japan Series in 2018. Yudai uh, Fujioka for the Chibalote Marines. Uh, for the Cebu Lions, Takumi Kuriyama. Takumi Kuriyama. Uh, Hanshin Tiger Kento Itohara. And uh, an American Scott McGuff for the um, for the uh, occult swallows, and then of course we're back to the top 
to our Nippon Ham Fighter picture again. So I'm curious also to see how many cards are in the how many how many cards for each team would be in this set. Because obviously in a in a box it's going to be very difficult to get a complete set. Like I, I think of the uh, series one and series two tops in the states, you can almost get a base set, almost out of a box. Ah, I think you're going to be at least a couple hundred cards short of this thing here. I have to go out and buy another box. So Mizuki Hori for the uh, Nippon Ham Fighters again, Ham Fighter on top. Ryota Takanaka for the Rakuten Eagles rookie card. And then we have a Haruto Inoue uh, rookie card, rookie pitcher for the uh, for the Giants. And who do we have for the Carp? And for the Carp, and we have a regular Ryusuke Kikuchi card. So we have a rainbow foil, and we have a regular Kikuchi. He was posted, by the way, this year to Major League Baseball. And uh, in some ways, he's probably disappointed. In some ways, he's probably... Uh, uh, not disappointed because uh, he wouldn't be playing until July, and so Kikuchi was posted, and uh, nobody nobody was interested in him. But uh, a star in Japan, but uh, just no interest in North America uh, for his talents. Kenta Ishida, pitcher for the Yokohama Dana Bay Stars, and now we have one of those uh, shiny cards in the middle. We have a um, Oryx Buffalo, so Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Uh, he is arguably their best pitcher he got uh he had their only win of the season to, in the first nine games and had a pretty good start going in his second game until uh things went off the rail um but uh, he is a star uh kaima tyra pitcher for the uh cebu lions uh soft bank hawks kenta imamiya imamiya and there is uh, Katsuya Kakunaka for the Chibalote Marines. And, of course, for the Chichi Dragons, you have uh, Nobumasa Fukuda. And then Fumiya Hojo for the Hanshin Tigers. And rookie card of Yasunobu Okogawa for the Yakult Swallows. And we're back to the top with one pack to go. One pack left, and uh, I, we haven't really looked at the back of these cards, and we'll take a moment and flip them over so you can see what the backs look like. And if anybody is interested, we haven't really done this either. There are the odds. There are the odds. We haven't seen a gem yet. Uh, we've seen a lot of the ones with the four, but not so much some of the other stuff. So we'll see what we got. See what we got. Uh, things aren't looking too promising for some fire here out of, uh, out of Epic. Epic is not giving us the fire uh that we're looking for and uh, let's see if i can just take this right off here that will allow us will allow us to get the cards out of the pack and of course we have a nippon ham fighter on the top followed by a racket and eagle so we have shota hiranamu on the on the top and then there's our rookie racket and eagle hiroto uh kobu uh kobu Ara. Followed by a Yamuri Giant, which is uh, Shingo Ishikawa. Followed by a Carp, which in this case, it's going to be the catcher, uh, Yoshitaka Isomura, who's not their starting catcher. Um, but we'll see if we get him. I've seen this guy before. This is that Junpai Azuma for the uh, Yokama Dana Bay Stars. And there is our rainbow foil card of Ryota Igarashi. Ryota Igarashi. And there's Brandon Dixon. Brandon Dixon, he struggled the other night for the uh, for the for the Buffaloes, for Oryx, American uh, relief pitcher. And then you have Takashi Umino for the SoftBank Hawks. And then you have uh, Takashi Ojino for the Chibalote Marines. And there is uh, Takumi Yamamoto for the Chinichi Dragons. Minoru Iwata for the Hanshin Tigers. Zach Neal, the Cebu Lions. There's an interesting character. And uh, Neal, uh, boy, uh, if you get a chance to see highlights, uh, he's had two starts now this season. And he's, uh, he's a pitch-to-contact guy. Really, 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 really good start in opening day. Six innings. And he was able, of the 18 outs that he got, uh, he ended up getting 12 outs by way of ground ball, striking out three, and then there were three, I think, in pop-ups or, or fly balls and, and whatever else. But he is a ground ball machine, and he didn't start his Japanese career too well last year. They actually sent him down to the farm league, and he had to sort himself out when they called him back up. 
Uh, he was pretty solid, and then we're back to the top. But that's Zach Neal for the Cebu Lions. He is... Uh, he's half to a hot start. And one of the few Americans to be given an opening day nod in the Japanese league in recent years, and he got an opening day start for Cebu. Well, listen, everybody, uh, I'd like to, uh, to thank you again for watching. If you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And uh, once again, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. It's been another Last Crafts Baseball video production. Have a great day, everybody.